Okay, there's Google Bard and there's ChatGPT, by far the most popular chat AI bots out there. And I know everybody loves ChatGPT, but personally for my money, Google Bard is just way, way better. So I, I wanted to share in this video why I think Google Bard, for me, at least for me, and maybe for you after I show you, why it is far better than ChatGPT. By the way, my name's Kevin Colby. I'm glad you're here. Now look, I, I realize ChatGPT is the thing, and, and, and I use it. I mean, I have a free account, but here's one of the things that I am not crazy about, and it's this right here. If I go all the way down here, so I'm on the free plan, and, and the problem with that is sometimes it'll just time out. I've been in the middle of asking it things, and it just like times out. It glitches a lot for me because personally, I just, I don't want to use it or pay to use it. And that's one of the advantages Google Bard has. But if you go back here and you want to upgrade, and I know there's a lot of guys, maybe you are this way, maybe you pay for chat GPT, but check this out, $20 a month. <laughs> that's a lot of money, $20 a month. To me, it's just hard to justify paying that for basically information that it's scraping. Now, I, I realize, I realize that you can do a lot with AI, and, and I use it a lot for creating ideas and rough templates and, and titles a lot. But honestly, I just can't justify $20 a month for that. So that's why I am a huge fan of Google Bard. Like I've mentioned, it's free. Now, one of the other things I like about Google Bard it uses something called conversational templates. And what I have found is when I'm in there giving it a prompt, it, it feels a little bit more, I almost said human, lifelike. Anyway, it, just, it feels a little bit more conversational. And I tend to write as I speak is, is more conversational. And so that's one of the other reasons that I like Bard over it. Now, there's some other things in there. When you're giving it a prompt, so like right now, we can enter a prompt right here, and I'll say, uh, give me a video idea about growing on YouTube. I'm just saying something here. This is not the type of content I do. I do things about YouTube, but not necessarily that. Now, I will say the speed is always going to be based probably on the traffic and your internet. So here we go. So you get things like this uh, in this video. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll share some tips, choosing a niche, creating high quality content, the body of it, the conclusion. Now, what I think is interesting about this is all I did was, what was my prompt? My prompt was, uh, give me a video idea about growing on YouTube. And I didn't say anything else. To me, that's one of the limitations of ChatGBT um, is that, it, it kind of is more singular, singular in response. Whereas as what I have noticed is Google Bard will go beyond just kind of what you're asking it and give you even more. So if you go back, look at all this. It gave me a title, I didn't ask for that. It gave me a description. It gave me a body and a conclusion. And, and this is something I've noticed Bard doing more and more, check this out. It, it even gives you additional tips. Be consistent with uploads. Engage with your audience. And here's the cool thing. Each one of those things could be a separate video. So I think when you're, when you're uh, looking for ideas and you're looking for more than just like spitting back, you know, giving it one prompt and you get back one prompt, that's where to me Google Bard just is so much better than ChatGPT. Now, check this out. So I'm going to refresh. I'm going to reset the chat here. And... Something else that Google Bard has is voice uh, prompt. So watch this. Hey, can you give me a video idea about how to start a video podcast? Hit submit. So if you noticed, it even said hey. It even showed up on the hey. And I was thinking, and what it's going to do is it'll spit out. Now look at this. So if you notice, it's the, same, it's the same structure as the other, but I did it by voice. And, you know, I, I realized that, you know, it, you probably need to have clarity of, of, of voice. I don't know if it does anything other than English. I don't know about that. But, again, if you go back and look at it, same thing, how to start a video podcast, a beginner's guide. There's your description. There's your outline. There's your tips. 
There's your call to action, and there's some additional points. But again, what I like about this is that it did the voice feature. So if you don't want to fool with typing, you could just, you know, you could just use your microphone. Like I'm, I'm using this one. It's plugged right into the computer. Here's something else I like about Bard is that, and I'll use this one for example. See this right here, view other drafts. So again, my experience with ChatGPT is you, you give it a prompt, you get one response. If you want other responses, you have to ask, but check this out. There's draft one, draft two. And what I have noticed is they're a little different, uh, sometimes not major league dif difference, draft three. So again, you're not just getting one draft, you're getting more. So I could even come here and say, uh, please uh, summarize this. And what it'll do is it'll summarize everything it just wrote to here, and you even get additional drafts of that. And honestly, I think that I think that's really cool. So now you've got more you can choose from. Here's the other thing that I think is really neat. So let's say I want this one right here. You can you can give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, and that's how a lot of the AI is trained. But check this out: export response it's tied into Google Docs. So what happens is, and there's everything it just gave me right there. And why, it's blinding. And why this is huge is, is if you're working in Google Docs, it's right there. So now I can start writing on this and, and changing it. And I could take this into a blog post or whatever I wanted to. Let me get back to that screen. I just think that is very, very cool. So I'm gonna reset the chat. And we're going to go back, and I'm going to show you something else that I think is very different. Um, show me five best places to retire. Now watch this. I've noticed this, that it will actually come up with images. Now let's see if it does it this time. I, I did this the other day with video podcast. There we go. Look at that. So not only is it telling me, <laughs> telling me the places to retire, it's giving me pictures and reasoning, and that is really cool. And guess what? Just like before, I can export this to Google uh, to Google Docs, and there it is. Now it didn't bring the pictures with it, but it brought all the information. So again, you know, if you were looking for like a blog post or something like that, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go right back one more time. And, and you can always reset chat. Now, here's the thing you need to know, and this works with both. If you reset the chat, it's like you're just, you, you won't keep getting information on that topic. So, for example, um, we looked at images. We looked at that. Now, it has, it has Google, <clears throat> excuse me, it has Google built in. So, let's say this. Um, give me a, uh, a video idea about starting a video podcast. Now, check this out. So once it does this, you've got all your information here. Google it. And again, I think this is what makes Google Bard so much better than ChatGPT. And when you hit Google it, you get these options right here. So let's just look at this. How much does it cost to start a video podcast? It takes you to Google where there's even more information and by the way, here's a bonus tip. This right here, this people, oh, let me let me get my noggin out of the way, I'm sorry. This people uh, also ask, that is a great way to find extra content. So if you notice right here, people are also asking, how do I start my own video podcast? How much does it cost to operate a podcast? And that's even more information that can lead to other videos. So again, for my money, <laughs> and Google Bard is free, I just, I can't beat it. It can do so much more. And there is, here, let me show you one other thing. I, I, I'm, I need to show you this. So if, and I, I know folks will say, yeah, but you know, ChatGPT keeps your history. Well, this one does too. So if you go over to Bard Activity, look at this. Here's everything I've ever asked it. And I can delete it. I can do anything with it from there. So it's you have that option too with Google Bard of keeping everything that you've that that you've been talking to it on. And I, I think that's I just think that's huge. Free, tied into Google. And then if you use Google Docs like I do, you can even send it to Gmail. I haven't tried that feature, but it's pretty cool. So if you're doing some research on something or you're writing something, you could actually send that in a Gmail email to somebody 
and that's pretty sweet. Now, there's a couple of things that you've gotta be 18 or older and you have to have a Gmail account to use Google Bard, but uh, it is opening up. I don't know if it's worldwide web now, but I'm in the US and I know it's there. So there's a link down in the description to uh, get to Bard and it'll tell you a lot more about it. So what do you think? What do you think? I mean, if you're a chat GPT person, that's fine. But again, for me, I, I think Google Bard is phenomenal. So I'd love to hear what you think. And if you like this, subscribe for a lot more videos to help you do more with video. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you.